Hi, Patty from Greenish Neighbor here. I just wanted to go live today because I've had kind of an interesting week and I wanted to talk to you about it. I went to an event on Wednesday night that was put on by Toward Zero Waste, my buddies over there at TZW. Um, Toward Zero Waste, Carrie specifically put this one on and um, it was at Carrie High School and the lovely Mel uh, spoke to us. She's in charge of the Recycle Right program uh, for North Carolina and um, it was very enlightening learned so much but I do want to kind of um, break it into small pieces because I could not talk about it all right now because it's just a lot of information uh, so today uh, something came up as I was leaving the gym with a girlfriend of mine and uh, she mentioned that she just learned that she can put other things in the bins over at the grocery store other than just plastic grocery bags um, so you know the ones that you see here so this is what I'm talking about like this is a Moe's bag but um, it it's still these are called t-shirt bags the way they're shaped and the material they are made out of they're very thin single-use plastic bags um, that you get from any grocery store and a lot of department stores and other types of stores restaurants um, so those uh, we're gonna talk about that today and that those can go in your grocery store bin um, but uh, there's a lot of other things that can go into those bins as well and I wanted to do a little show and tell uh, to quickly show you some different things that you can put into those that um, maybe you didn't know so uh, first thing I'm going to show you is th this plastic film this is called a plastic film so it's not really a bag it's a film that goes around this is toilet paper um, the important thing to remember with what goes in the the cart the bins at the grocery store are if it's the right type of plastic film material. So I was given a tip that you would go and do, um, when you're trying to tear it, you just pull it and if it stretches, like you can see right there that it's stretched instead of ripped, that's the type of material that can go in those bins. So um, any kind of wrapper, like these are the type of wrappers that are around paper towels and toilet paper and stuff like that. Um, another thing is I like the bread at Harris Teeter. There's like this um, yummy uh, sunflower honey bread. Um, comes in these kind of bags. Uh, it's kind of crinkly, but it still stretches when I pull on it. And so I'm putting that in that bin as well. Uh, one thing that's kind of um, prolific in our world right now is um, these air packs that come in like Amazon packages, stuff like that. Um, these are a plastic film that can be recycled at your grocery store as well. Pop them first, just poke a little hole, take some scissors or whatever, have the kids pop them, have fun with them, pop them and stick those in your bin as well, in the in a bag and take it to the grocery store as well. One thing that I like to do because I do a fair amount of um, events and stuff like that, so uh, ice pack, uh, ice bags stretchy material as long as it's dry I hang them out in my garage to dry and as long as they're dry these can go in your bin as well in the into the grocery store bin as well um, a couple other that are really interesting um, this this may look familiar to a lot of people these even say right on them right there they even say that these can be taken to your grocery store for drop-off um, and it says to remove the, ta the tag the stickers on it well that's fine for this like little pink sticker that's fine but for the other sticker I can't get this sticker off I'm gonna take it anyway it says to take it there I'm taking it there anyway um, this one is interesting I picked this up at an event that I did at my kids school this is a big sunny delight sunny D uh, package with other like single wraps around that were I think around even more inside of this package uh, I grabbed this because I'm going to recycle this at the grocery store as well um, the what reason I wanted to show you this one is because um, we do a lot of PTA events so I put together a nice um, document that is called the PTA Green Events Guide. It is available on my website. I'm going to put post after this. I'll post down there the link to that and you can it's a free download that you can get off of my website. 
uh, it should be really helpful. It's just a lot of tips that I've learned over the years of trying to reduce waste at uh, PTA events. So that's kind of it on that. Um, let's see, there's somebody. Hi, Andrea. How are you? <laughs> um, so uh, I just wanted to mention one more thing. Let's see. Oh, I have a big event on Friday. Um, we're going to try to do composting at that event, and I'm don't think I'll be able to go live. I hopefully will get some good pictures, but it's going to be really busy. Uh, but please come back to Greenish Neighbor Facebook page and see how that goes, because I'm really excited about that. Um, and let me know what your questions are, post questions for this. Um, if you're on my Triangle Eco Kids group and you're watching this after, after I post it, um, Hi, special shout out to you guys. Please share this with your family, with the kids, and share it with your neighbors and your friends. Um, that's how we get the word spread on this kind of stuff is what, you know, what can be recycled? Everybody's confused sometimes. It's not that hard sometimes if you have the right information. Um, it really doesn't have to be that scary or that um, confusing. Um, if you, and, it, and you don't have to be um, stressed out about it. Everybody can be a little bit greenish. Um, just take little baby steps. Start with this. Start with getting these packages back to your grocery store. Um, all right. I hope everybody has a great afternoon. And um, that's it. Have a great afternoon. Thanks, guys. Bye.